Now, recently, TVJ Sports reported on the mystery drug at Caymanas Park that has been raising alarm for from last year. Now, this as a record number of horses, including at least one former classic campaigner whose A samples have returned an adverse finding, is cause for concern for stakeholders at the track. But why is it showing up now? The drug is Ketorolac, and it's prescribed for humans from mild to severe pain, but its side effects are so great that some countries around the world as well as Europe have banned it. So what's it doing at Caymanas Park? Dr. Sophia Ramlal, senior JRC vet, says they're at a loss as to why it's been used as there are far better painkillers for horses. Proven, effective, safe painkillers that horsemen are encouraged to use. We, we, we really have to get a handle on why this is being found here because it is not, by all accounts, a safe drug or an effective drug. Like it's, it's a brand new drug. We're in new territory and we are guided by the classification system of the ARCI, which has five levels. This is a class three and that, that group of substance usually means there, it can be useful as treatment, but they're certainly prohibited on base day. What's the penalty for a class three substance? It does come with a fine. It can come with a suspension. It is up to the first instance tribunal to determine what penalties, if any, they would associated with handout for these offenses. Meanwhile, with the JRC awaiting the promised funding from the government to move forward, what has the commission been doing in the meantime? We had a meeting with some of the senior trainers, you know, to try and find out what is happening. We are trying to find out what possible could be that source. Is it contamination, whatever it is, you know, to be fear all around. But contamination isn't so easily proven. Contamination is something that people like to say a lot, but it's a very difficult thing to establish. You can have drugs that come back in samples and you determine that they're contaminants. If it passes through the horse, we expect the lab to report that there is a metabolite as well, if there is a metabolite associated with a natural breakdown. If you are finding, it, if you can identify the source of it in the environment and it's not something that's given, then sure, we can go ahead and say it's a contaminant. And what's preventing it from being a masking agent? Our research does not indicate that that is a masking agent. And, you know, when we talk about masking agents, chemistry has evolved so much in the last two decades and the sensitivity of testing is quite remarkable compared to 20 years ago. And so what people would try to use as masking agents is a really not so easy to accomplish anymore. Chairman of the JRC, Clovis Metcalf, has a suggestion as to why he thinks the drug is turning up now. What I might tell you is that the university has increased its standards standards and bought new standards so I would think that it is more sensitive you know so possibly that some of the positive that um, might have happened in the past certainly we can they can be detected today. Denise Walters for TVJ Sports.